hey, um, who are you? Um, <laughs> no, it, it's just, um, <laughs> I, I noticed that, <laughs> that you'd been following me and, um, well, well, I, I recognize you from, from the library, so, I, I just thought I'd, <laughs> well, normally I'm not really much of a confrontational person at all, but, well, I've, I've kind of noticed the, <laughs> the types of books that you, that you check out, and, um, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make this awkward or to bother you at all, but, y what? What do you, you mean you know what I am? Vampire. Um, no, you must have me mistaken with someone else. I, uh, Tremere? Gentry? Uh, how do you know all these, these things? Oh no. Oh no. Have you been, been stalking me? I... If you know all this, then... What are you gonna do to me? You were just curious and... You researched... All these things after seeing the books that I check out at the library? Well, I, I suppose that's fair, but I, I don't know if I can trust you. I don't know what what you've got planned unle unless um, look into my eyes, relax. Let your mind go blank and listen to my words. What are your true intentions? Why are you following me? Doing research on kindred society? Tell me. Tell me the truth. Okay. <laughs> I guess you weren't lying after all. <laughs> that that's good. Um, I'm still like a little bit creepy, but um, so y y you want to help me, huh? <laughs> well, I'm not exactly high up in, in the pyramid. <laughs> Generally, I'm the one that has to do all the odd jobs for everyone and. You just want to help me with that and and learn more about magic and hmm. yeah, I I can relate to that. <laughs> you must know what a what a ghoul is then, right? 
I started out this life as a ghoul myself. It's <laughs> a long time ago and a very, very different life I had back then. But I <laughs> I remember how it felt that insatiable hunger for knowledge and information and feeling like this whole new world was unlocked to me and <laughs> you seem so genuine and <laughs> I'm sorry I had to probe your mind a little bit to see if you were indeed telling <laughs> the truth mm. well If you're serious about this, I, uh, I think we could, mm -hmm. um, maybe out here on the streets isn't the best place. Why don't I take you back to the chantry, alright? Okay. Um, just, just follow me, it's, it's not too far away from here actually. <laughs> So, hmm. what exactly do you know about being a ghoul to a vampire? Hmm, yes. Um, I don't think anyone's really sure on how exactly it works, but for some reason our vitae, it has a certain effect on mortals like you. It strengthens them, gives you a little bit of our powers, but not that much. <laughs> and it also, hmm, it also transfers some of the curse. <laughs> you know, every clan and major bloodline has their own individual curse that they have to deal with. We can get into that sort of stuff later, but um, some are more severe than others. And as long as the blood is in the mortal system, they will not age. So there are quite some ghouls that have gone far beyond what any human being could live as. But if blood isn't, you know, if the flow stops, then the powers will wane and, and the human will age as, as much as they would have otherwise. So it's quite a responsibility <laughs> having a ghoul. Um, can be a liability too, but I'm generally well protected by the chantry here, so you shouldn't uh, worry about that. <laughs> so, I, I would have to feed you some of my blood every month, at least. And, um, well, well, I'm not very demanding, really, but you could help me with some some basic basic rituals and some tasks here and there, and uh, well, you, you could actually go to to bookstores that don't open at night for me if you'd want to, of course. And um, well, in, in exchange, you you would get my blood, and um. <laughs> well, I, I, I teach you what, what you wanted to know, some things anyway. Um, <laughs> and, um, y you get my company as well. <laughs> so, um, I, I did want to 
want to ask you if it was okay if I took a little bit of your blood first, just just so I can, you know. It it it's just I haven't really fed in quite a while, and if I have to give you some of my blood, why well, don't want to get too weak and <laughs> pass out in your or something. Be very, very, very careful, okay? Um, but don't worry. <laughs> As you might know, it, it actually feels really good. Um, let's go for your your left, if that's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, l let me know if it does does hurt. Okay. sip to You just don't take too much, right? <laughs> you like how it tastes? <laughs> Can you feel it in the bond between us? take care of you. Now, 
I didn't want to say anything, but you do like a bit, a bit tired. <laughs> so why don't you, uh, why don't you take some rest? Just relax a little bit. It's almost morning and, hmm, well, you can stay here for tonight if you want. Well, yeah, it's a spare bed, of course. <laughs> hmm. Don't worry. Just relax. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun together. <laughs> you figuring out everything that you did. I don't think I've ever met someone quite as smart and curious. <laughs> okay. Now, go take your rest. And we'll talk 